today we're going to turn this Hair Adorables doll into Slappy the Dummy from the Goosebumps TV series. Now remember, the TV series version of Slappy is the one with orange hair. We'll be making the dark haired version from the movie in another video, so stay tuned. But for now, let's get started. First, I cut off all her hair. Next, I painted her face to look more like Slappy. painted on a white shirt. Then I made a suit out of black felt. I painted some Hair Adorable's pants black. And I used a piece of white fabric for a collared shirt. I painted his shoes black. put some finishing touches on the suit. For Slappy's hair, I used orange fur. I hot glued it onto his head. Gave him a haircut. Then use clear glue to style his hair in place. I added one small piece of fur for his curly cue in front. And that's it! Now we have a custom hair adorable doll that looks like Slappy the Dummy from the Goosebumps TV series. Today we are going to draw Stanley the Unicorn from Five Nights at Freddy's The Twisted Ones. I drew this one myself and I was painting and I accidentally got some watercolor splatters on the picture but you know what? I kind of think it fits with Five Nights at Freddy's because you know they're a little messy. They're a little dirty. So we're just going to go with it. I'm going to ink this now and then we are going to color it. I always like turning the paper when I'm drawing and when I'm inking. I don't 
know if there should be a line there or not. I think I'm gonna leave it. I've been doing a lot of drawing lately. I have a lot of fun drawing. I think it's really relaxing and fun. And I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. These little spots right here and around the, the unicorn, I'm just gonna fill in with the black marker. I'm not sure what to do with this nose. I think I'm gonna fill that in with brown. And yeah. Okay, now the teeth, I did them one way, but I'm thinking of doing them another way. We're gonna go like that and like that. Maybe. I think that's how we're gonna do it this time. Uh, I'm debating, should I put them all the way down like that? No, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'll just go with that. Sometimes things are wrong, sometimes things are right. There we go, there is Stanley. I'm gonna add some more dark spots around. Maybe one up there. I think it's supposed to be a plastic toy. I'm not sure, I haven't read the twisted ones, but I do know that we should add some of these things. All right, now let's color it. Actually, I'm gonna add some lines like that for the unicorn horn. Maybe I should, like that. I don't know, should that be like that? Should I put a line there? I'm not sure. Like if I pretended that was a line, would that work? You know what, I'm gonna put a line there. If it's wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We can, we can, you know what? It's a learning experience. Okay, now I'm going to erase everything. Okay, there we go. I think I've got all the lines off. Yeah. I need to get one of those fancy erasers everybody uses. I have some erasers, but not like super fancy ones, so I don't know. Do they work better? I don't know. Okay, so let's start with this part right here. It is a pretty kind of mint green. I'm using watercolors. I'm using Rembrandt paints. Um, I have other paint sets, but this is the one I've been using the most, not because it's better or anything, but I just decided that was the one I was going to use to learn watercolors. There we go. Got that part done. Now we have to let that dry, um, and while we're letting that dry, we can work on the dark brown around the mouth and the eye. Maybe, yeah, the dark brown around the mouth. Oh, that's not as dark as I wanted. That's okay. I can go back over it. I'm definitely gonna go back over this and darken it up, but for right now, we're just gonna go with this brown color. A lot of watercolor is building up the color anyway, so this is pretty much what I think we are supposed to do. All 
right, there we go. So far so good. Oh, the nose. I should probably do the nose. Yeah, that's definitely going to need to be darkened. That's okay. We can darken it. Now the next portion of Stanley is yellow. So we're going to paint this yellow. Now the next part is now the next part is light blue, but we have to wait for the yellow to dry, otherwise we're gonna be running into each other. So I'm gonna go down here and start with the purple. So oh, pretty. I love the colors, they're kind of pastel. I love pastel colors. I mean we're making something scary, but it can still be pretty too. Now we're going to do the blue. Okay, I'm gonna go over this brown again. There we go. That's a lot darker, I like that. Now that looks a lot better. I'm going to try and brighten up this blue a little bit. And the green. Okay, now I'm going to add just an extra layer of dirt like she has right up here. Or he has. Why do you call it a she? Right up here and around there. And like that. Like so. It actually goes up here too. And we're going to go down here too. Pink inside the ear. I think there's pink inside the ear. Okay, you didn't see that because I'm so great at framing things that I had this off camera, but I added that shadow there and then I'm going to add just the slightest hint of pink inside. Oh, that's not really, not really doing the job, is it? There we go. There we go. That works. Now let's add a little bit of that dirty shadow to the yellow. And some dirty shadow there and dirty shadow there. And it doesn't seem like that's what you should be doing, but that's what you have to do with a Five Nights at Freddy's character. The only thing I want to do is add some more purple there because I think that purple's a little washed out. There we go. You know what? I think it would be really fun to write Stanley down here. Okay, 
Okay, here's my full body one and the same fate that befell the first one with all of the little drops of watercolor happened to this one too. That's okay. We can work with it, can't we? So I'm gonna go in with a micro line and go over everything and then we will color it in. Whoops, one's bigger than the other. Well, we'll just do this. Ah, one's still bigger than the other. Okay, so I'm just gonna color this in. It's just gonna have a black center. That's just how this one's gonna be. Okay, did I forget anything? I don't think so. Okay, now I'm going to erase all of the pencil markings. You know what? I forgot to add the teeth, so I'm going to do that now. There we go. Let's start with the brown around the eyes. And around the mouth. I'm just gonna do all the, the dirty brown parts. This could be just a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go back over it a little bit. Got on his teeth a little bit, but that's okay. That's all right. Ah, did I smudge that? Ugh, I gotta let things dry. Why? Darn it. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. 
just gotta let it go for a minute. Okay, let's start painting. Let's go with the green. Let's paint the green part of his hair. His mane, I should say. Oops, I forgot a brown part right there. That's okay, we can go back over it. And just a little bit. The top part is also green. So we're gonna paint that green as well. Made the colors just a tad bit darker this time around. Yellow. Oh, I forgot another brown part. It's okay. I'm just gonna leave it and we're gonna let that just kind of mix in because it's supposed to be dirty anyway. That's the really cool part about this one. Okay, now we're gonna do the blue part of the wheels. Perhaps I have just a little bit too much water on the brush. Now I'm gonna go in with some purple for the tail. And for this last piece of the mane right here. Okay, now let's do the blue. yellow for the tail. Okay, now I'm going to go around with a lighter brown. And then I'm gonna make it just a little bit dirty on the on the legs and the body. It's also gonna add shadows. I added a little bit of pink into the center, but it kind of looks brown, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to go around the eye just a little bit. There we go. Oh, right here too. And there is our Stanley. There you go, guys. How to Draw a Five Nights at Freddy's Twisted One Stanley. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos in the future, and I'll see you next time. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.